Okay, we're still here at Taunton for the Glastonbury Tour Handicap. It's a two mile five, naught to one twenty. Hurdle event. Number one is Bounty Mister, Adele Hinton, Funky Sunset for Martin Lidl, and the White is for Darren Thompson, Lusty Grey for Pontypool, Montrose for David Robertson, Fire Trap for Kevin Meanhan, Denza Pill for Obi Wan, Louder Shining for Carl Arrogante, Holly West for Graham Clutterbuck, Gemini Morning for Martin Leadham, Borough Hill Lab for Darren Howes, Banana Split for Kevin Meanhan, Half Time Tea Time for Stu Grey, Mighty Danny for Alex Cherry, and Ricciardo for James Follis. That's the 15. The start has got him away. Wait for it to settle down. Ten flights to negotiate. It looks like Borough Hill lad for Darren Houses uh, reluctantly take them over the first, which they will skip over. The Gemini morning was a little bit uh, untidy, and it is Borough Hill lad. Just by length and a half. Nobody really wants to lead in this one from Bounty Mister on half time tea time. Finally to the second hurdle. Everyone skips over that comfortably. And now Borough Hill Lad seems to have settled in the lead by a couple of lengths from half time tea time and Bounty Mister. The wider of those is Montrose and Holly West and Mighty Danny. Whitest of all is Fire Trap. Even wider than Fire Trap is the whitest in the blue silks and the white sleeves. Coming back towards the fence, we've got Louder Shining in the Carl Arrogante colours. On the outside of that is Funky Sunset and the yellow silks of Denza Pill for Obi Wan. And a length or so back to Banana Split. The Grey Lusty Grey, Gemini Morning, and Ricciardo. We get to the third hurdle, everybody's over it. And there's Borough Hill Lad that still leads. Well, his advantage is now probably five to six lengths from Bounty Mister, half time tea time against the fence, Montrose. Swing right-handed here. It's still Borough Hill Lad. Bounty Mister now has taken second on his own, but he's still five, six lengths from the leader. And lengths back to half-time tea time. Followed through by Funky Sunset Montrose. We get to the fourth. All over that poor jump there by Banana Split. Might get out of that hurdle very well. We get to the fifth, and halfway through the flights now. It's Borough Hill Lad still leading from Bounty Mist to Funky Sunset and Fire Trap out wide. They're followed through by Half Time Tea Time, Denza Peel, Holly West, the whitest, the widest of all. You've got Mighty Danny just on his inside, then about half a length back to Montrose in the yellow cap and the light blue and purple silks. And then a length back to Banana Split. Another half to Gemini Morning and Louder Shining. And just at the rear is Ricciardo and Lusty Grape. Go out for another circuit. There's an ambulance facing the right way for a change. But if Borough Hill Lad, just by three or four now to Fire Trap, Bounty Mister, and Funky Sunset. Holly West, Half Time, Tea Time, Mid Pack, Montrose, Denza Peel, and Banana Split against the fence. Then a length so back to the three of the whitest Gemini Morning and Louder Shining. Then Ricciardo's just bringing up that pack. The rear, and the one that's really got caught for a bit of pace here is Lusty Grey. We may well be losing that one soon. As Lusty Grey falls to the rear. The uh, Pontypool Racing Holly West comes alongside to join Borough Hill Lad for the lead inside the mile. So it's Borough Hill Lad and Holly West by a length or so to Bounty Mister. And the rest of the pack are quite close together. Bounty Mister having a little bit of a hold there and holding up the horses behind him. that jockey. So we're led over the seventh by Holly West now. Borough Hill Lad, Montrose wide, Mighty Danny, louder shining wider still. A length or so back to the rest, just being led by Fire Trap. The whitest has gone back outside wide again. But Holly West just leading now as they come inside the five and a half. And coming down to the eighth, which will be three from home. So it's Holly West taken on by now by Montrose. These two are neck and neck, just on the inside is Borough Hill Lad. There's a few being pushed along now, trying to get better order, better position. But as we get down to half a mile from home, they take the eighth. Everybody's over it. And the one that just jumped it a little bit better than all was Borough Hill Lad and knows he's back in front again, but he's under pressure now and the whip is out. Montrose is pushing through the middle out wide is Mighty Danny, but it's Montrose that seems to know he's in front now as they come down to three furlongs from home. They're going to get to the penultimate. It's Montrose and Holly West pokes his 
nose out again. So Montrose and Holly West start to pull away from the rest of the field. They've got a little bit to do to catch the leader. Montrose has got half a length advantage from Holly West inside the two furlongs. That's the penultimate. A great jump there by Holly West. Montrose pecked on landing, but it's Holly West from Montrose. These two are neck and neck into the last. They both take it together. They both land well together. One coming out of the pack to maybe throw down a challenge is Banana Split. Here come Denza, Pill and Gemini Morning. But up front it's Molly Montrose and Holly West. And Montrose by half a length from Molly West. Montrose Montrose is just going to hang on to this there from Holly West in second. Banana Split running on more of a third. And Gemini Morning is fourth. Denza Pill fifth. Last one to a handicap goes to David Robertson's Montrose. Well done. It's a bad length. Holly West, Graham Clutterbuck. Banana split of Kevin Mean had a further length behind. And I think Obi Wan's and Martin's horses uh, battling out for the fourth and fifth. Just check who it was, and it was Den's appeal that managed to get up for fourth. And oh, sorry, Gemini Morning managed to get up for fourth for Martin Liederman. Den's appeal was fifth for Obi Wan.